It is a story we've reported on since the beginning. Delaware County Memorial Hospital slashing services, closing its emergency room, ICU, and other departments. It's left people in part of our area looking for health care services, sometimes even emergency care. Well, now a CBS News investigation it finds health care institutions that Americans rely on are being taken apart and shut down by investors looking for profits. The investigation focuses mainly on the company that owns Delaware County Memorial Hospital. The company made millions of dollars and then closed some of its community hospitals, leaving patients scrambling for care. It's part of a larger trend of private equity investors snapping up everything from local doctors' practices to specialty clinics and even hospice care centers. CBS News chief. Medical correspondent Dr. John Papook has a story. This is what it looks like when a hospital shuts its emergency room doors, turning away patients like Shirley Posey. I was having shortness of breath um, and tightness in my chest. Latipa Dixon and her two children showed up after getting into a car accident. They too were turned away, along with 28 year old Cecilia Vizuete, who was having trouble feeding her one year old daughter because of a breast infection. They said I should look on Google Maps for another hospital. Inside Delaware County Memorial, the hallways and patient rooms, normally bustling, were empty, except for a few nurses charged with cleaning the place out. I cried. I'll be honest, I cried. Emergency room nurse Angela Napolitano is the president of the local union and worked there for 41 years. My children were born there, saved my dad's life in the emergency room, so it's a part of me. Delaware County Memorial was part of a nonprofit Pennsylvania health system that was in danger of failing when it was purchased in 2016 by Prospect Medical Holdings, a Los Angeles based for profit company. With the backing of private equity investors, Prospect Medical's portfolio would, by 2018, grow to 20 hospitals in six states. After the Pennsylvania purchase, the company had promised to invest $200 million to dramatically increase service to the community. They tried to tell us that we were, they were going to run us the same way. Don't worry, trust us. Did they actually say that to yeah. you? Instead, Napolitano says Prospect Medical dismantled the hospital piece by piece, leading to longer waits in the ER and forcing staff to transfer more patients to other hospitals. They have been cutting services. Things wouldn't get fixed. Our elevator in the back of the emergency room has been broken for over a year. Holes in walls, not fixed. And then when they closed the ICU, that was a knife in my heart. A CBS News investigation found of the 20 hospitals owned by Prospect Medical, five have closed, including this 89 year old hospital in San Antonio, laying off more than 500 workers. We wouldn't see a hospital closing down if this was a more affluent area. Delaware County official Monica Taylor says closing what's considered a safety net hospital will hit the area's low income population hardest. What happens to a community when it loses its only emergency room? There aren't resources nearby, and so we find that people wait longer to go to the hospital. It leaves a gaping hole in this community that is going to be very hard and very difficult to fill. In a PowerPoint provided to the county, Prospect Medical cited high labor costs, record inflation, and the COVID-19 pandemic. But according to Taylor, the company has been reluctant to share its financials with the county. You think they've been leveling with you? No. I had a sense that they were not giving us all the information. They didn't care about health care, doctor. What they cared about was making money for their investors. Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Nerona says what's happening in Pennsylvania is what Prospect Medical tried to do in his state, where he says the company drove two hospitals deep into debt. Their hospitals were in real danger of closing. In 2019, Nerona investigated a proposed company transaction, invoking state law to force Prospect Medical to turn over its financials, and found it put every hospital in its system at risk of reduction in services, sale, or closure. Did they say, look, there was a pandemic. Who could have predicted that? And that's really largely responsible. Well, this had nothing to do with the pandemic. Hospitals all over the country were facing the pandemic. But the problems here were exacerbated, frankly, by greed. Two different outside experts followed the money and discovered one reason why the company was so far in the red, summed up in a ruling by Nerona. In 2018, the owners of Prospect Medical took out a $1.12 billion loan using proceeds to pay themselves and their private equity shareholders a $457 million dividend. They basically took a big loan out, okay, a billion dollar loan out, 
and took nearly half of that loan, and rather than invest those loan proceeds in the hospitals that they owned, put the money in their pockets as dividends. How did they try to pay back that loan? They sold the hospitals off and leased them back. So now you're even in a worse position. In Delaware County, that leaseback arrangement meant $35 million a year in rent had to come out of hospital budgets. This after Prospect Medical's owners and private equity investors paid themselves that $457 million dividend. You know how much that was? No, I don't. It was $457 million. Oh my God. That makes me want to cry. <laughs> it makes me sick because I should have went back into the hospitals and into the community. And the whole time that all this was happening, they were blaming the staff and COVID. With the hospital now shut down, a judge next week will hear arguments over whether to require Prospect Medical to find a way to reopen its doors. What they've done is extremely evil, in my own words. Why do you think it's evil? Because to gain a dollar, you've maybe destroyed lives maybe even ended lives because they can't get the help that they need. In a statement to CBS News, Prospect Medical said it's cooperating with health officials and working to transition Delaware County Memorial to a behavioral health facility. In an annual report, the company said it has lived up to its commitment to invest $200 million in the Pennsylvania health system. Prospect Medical CEO declined an interview but the Rhode Island Attorney General told CBS News that the Prospect Medical CEO's share of the $457 million dividend was about $90 million. Dr. John LaPook, CBS News, New York. Wow. What a revealing story. Disturbing, truly disturbing. The police never asked.